Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be looking more of Team Four Stars Heffel Episode Six, Frog Napped. Oh yeah, Ginyu was a frog, and they did something stupid, didn't they? Yeah, sure. We're just upright into this. It's Team Four Star. I know it's going to be good. That's just a thing. Kind of looking forward to the ad, just because I'm looking at the opening one, and there's a weird selection right there. So we're just going to jump on in and see what the hell I'm in for, both with the show and the ad, because at this point, both are usually very creative. Okay, so I'm just going to say it. I have no idea why there's a shoe, looks like Raycon, and a silenced pistol, but it needs to be said, silenced pistol, Anya approved. This episode is brought to you by Raycon. Stay Called tuned it. to the end of the video yep. to find Raycon out Raycon definitely has more interesting ads from you. them. Oh, they have themed bedspreads, really? I mean, I guess it makes sense. I think we need to ban the word boozy. What? I thought you muted notifications. Not when they come from management. But I'm jealous of hell because they have management that understands texting. This is weird. What's wrong? Said Hut. He's coming. Oh. Who? Not him. Which management can be the one that does that? I mean, it could be Yama, but I'm pretty sure he's more common. Because he's like right there. You didn't tell the ogres, did you? They don't know nothing unless you told them. Good. Then let's settle this. Okay, I need to ask the obvious question. Did Cell have this kind of skin definition beforehand? Like, I remember the face being pretty smooth like this, but I don't remember seeing almost like this scaled pattern on his skin before. Is that new? Oh my. It's like, actually, what are your pronouns? Where's our captain? I've hidden him where you'll never find him. Go In his room? What? Like I have him? Oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's not in the house. What did I tell you? Now, if you want him back, you need to apologize. I'm actually kind of scared Excuse to see him. Excuse me? You figure us... Did he flush the captain? How does that even work in Heffel? For a bunch of spice this. dingoes. The Ginyu Force does not negotiate. Uh, yeah, they just died to Goku. Which explains her salary. Vegeta. So let's see what I find out just how indestructible. Wait, what did he just say? Did he just say what I think he did? Uh, which explains her salary. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, just... I wasn't expecting that. One. Acknowledgement that they are actually paid employees, too. They don't negotiate, even for themselves. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel for that one. So let's see what I find out just how indestructible you really are. Well, they're in hell. You better start talking. So technically, all right, very. Then, by all means, make me talk. Ooh, good old fashioned martial arts, even. Hey, what? Okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm one of the fanboys who loves the entire power system. And they're like, bigger blast of energy, bigger muscles, power-ups. Yeah, cool. Actually seeing a choreographed fight and it looks really cool. <laughs> this is literally just a straight up skill contest. And Goldo, who is a cheating cheater who cheats at cheating by cheating. Knocked it right off him. Holy shit. I'm actually impressed by the animation is. Okay, more importantly, that, that, I want to say this entire sequence of exchange was exactly what Dragon Ball Z would do, where they're just doing punches at each other, and it kind of did earlier, just with him dodging the side either way, which is something Dragon Ball Z did. But, I think this part right here, if I'm right, they did a lot more. Okay, we got here. He's dodging around. God damn, they're going smooth on this one. Oh, he's not dodging. I thought it looked a little different, but no, they're actually going full-on choreography on this one. So he got the head. No, no, he's dodging and he... Oh, he's ducking his head and moving to the side at an angle to get around both of them. And you see him... Oh, they swing back and you can see how there's a little bit disjointed in the model, but it's moving so fast you don't even need that. You see how it's going? He's leaning back again, immediately zipping forward again. So they're getting the speed down. Holy shit. I'm going by individual frames. They're not actually doing entire fight scenes. They're doing individual poses where they stop to connect. 
honestly, as far as getting speed across, that's actually a really brilliant way to do it. It might just be that my computer can't go slow enough to keep up, but I don't care. This is cool. Also, that is a really weird pose, but in the moment, it looks good. Oh, and, and you can see where he did actually seem to get one, at least slugging him in the face a bit. God, they're actually moving around and having him dodge and block in equal measure, which is something Dragon Ball Z didn't usually do as much because unless it was a major fight scene, they kind of just did blurs. That's so cool. Oh, right in the face. Oh, he kicked him. His That's probably what happened now. Ooh, hammer fist. It's a dead, but... Winning? Sure, none of us could use our key. He's actually good. Years of interpretive dance. However, I've got 150 years of accumulated experience from the greatest warriors in the galaxy. Also, Vegeta. <laughs> Fine. If that's how you want to play it. What? Hmm? <laughs> Goldo wasn't just checking your house, mate. He was also planting bombs. What? Please, you're bluffing. You blow up my house and you'll be the one stuck rebuilding it. Ah, ah, ah. We're independent contractors, which means we can take all the time in the other world. Rikum likes long lunches. All right, then. You want to make me mad? Then I'll get mad. Okay, one. I feel like I'm missing the entire independent contractors thing. Are they literally just being okay with being in hell? Like, they'll eventually just get wished back to do some other jobs? Honestly, if they have a reputation for it, that even makes sense that people would randomly just get Dragon Balls, hire them back, because, like, sure, they might not be the best, but they're loyal to death. In fact, you can let them die and then get them back again as long as you leave the payment for when they come back. How come no one's exploited that with life insurance? Because the only people who really collect it are so freaking powerful. Dying is a weird thing. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, thank you. Also, back on Krillin in this version. What in the blazes? This is my self-destruct form. Can he do that in you this take place? Out my house, I'll take out this whole god for second. I thought there was a Kai ability. Or is that just a biological one for him? Hit the button. I've got nothing to lose. That I get it. Mad M A D. Mutually assured destruction. Oh yeah, good point. Also. And this is a terrifying fridge horror thought that I'm definitely certain they're not going to go for. This is immortality for them, right? They don't stay dead because they're already dead. If he blows himself up here, does he just originate or destroy his soul and the rest of them just have to rebuild their house, which honestly sounds worse for him? Or do the little bits and pieces of him stay aware? Because, I mean, I've watched way too much SCP videos, man. If you want to get creative, sometimes not thinking is the nicer option. Guys, I really don't want to sleep in a tent again. Just it close your eyes and think of the kitten. What are you doing? Uh... You know the rules? No one leaving the house after curfew. But how? We could see you from our house. That's the... So that's where they live. Listen, mate, we're... I just realized what's on their house. They literally have the red in the... And they're even standing on the right sides. I'm surprised they only have one door plate rather than one on each side. Because at this point, it seems to be their thing to color coordinate everything. It's a miracle the house isn't actually painted down the middle. Although technically it is. Also, I know we've seen these little bits of scenery in the background before, which I've been told are actually from a video game. But they look so weird just randomly there. Plus the greenery. Are those greenish spike bombs? You know what, we're just going to ignore that. Could see you from our house. They so that's windows. where they live. Listen, mate, we're only out here because this cockroach-looking cut stole the kitten. Oh yeah, he's I Australian. Do it if you four didn't decide to make my afterlife an unliving here. You're the one who came into our house and told us what to do with our kitten. Because your kitten kept trying to eat me. Because yeah. <laughs> the frog thinks like one. More importantly. I love how this entire thing does actually prove a French philosophical viewpoint. Hell is other people. They legitimately could make this a really nice place. But they're assholes to each other, so they can't stand it. It's literally the definition of hell is other people. Not the room, but there was actually a French novel, I think it was by Voltaire, where the entire idea was that you're trapped 
in a room with these same people for eternity because they're in hell. And this is literally the same concept. I just realized that. It's literally a comedic version of being trapped in hell. I mean, it's hell, so of course it's trapped in hell. It's literally the title, but at the same time, it's literally just doing French nihilism. That works. That actually works. I don't think it's intended, but it works. Yes, because you are a bug and Ginyu is a frog. They... That's no way for a mental health professional to speak about a trauma victim. Is it actually a frog? He means there's literally a frog soul in his body. Okay, well, that confirms it. Called it! Goto was right. How long have you known? Well... This is one of the worst rap sheets I've seen in my life. The murder, the pillaging, and the jockstrap incident? Oh. <coughs> Ribbit. You disgust me. Unfortunately, you just clog the soul scrubber. But we've got ways of dealing with yeah. scum like you. Yeah. What the fuck did that frog do? They're judging the soul, not the body. Even though it's the body. And they know it's who it is. Oh god! Is Ginyu just going to randomly not go to hell because by comparison he's not nearly as evil? That's actually kind of hilarious. Shortly after, they learned it was on clerical era. Oh. But by the time we got severed, we seen a market in Okay, yeah, no, no, that's on me. Damn it, I thought it was actually going to be an evil frog! I'm actually disappointed. Movement in your demeanors! Also, Seriously? nobody in management wanted to take responsibility. So yeah, that, that sounds about means right. The real cat is not still dead. kicking out there. As a frog. Rikum is elated. <laughs> hey, they put the little crack in the glass. Nice. Ha. Ha. But that means our cat is a frog. Ain't the cat? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. He's just a fraud. A frog fraud. A uh, fraud. I guess we don't really need him back then. Oh my god, his lip is trembling. I absolutely love this. It's such a small little thing, but his disappointment, him just being, oh. And the trouble is, oh, it's awesome. I... Even Bullshit. the island. Huh? That bug eye too aren't leaping purple people leader may not be the man who taught us how to pose really or made us do kegels till we puked, but he's still part of the team. Gondo, you. I'm talking, you're listening. I accepted oh, shit. it before any of you did. Because you were just too scared to lose the cat. But I wasn't. Oh, I yeah, made peace with that, and I made friends with him. He's my friend. Just like all of you guys are my friend. Oh, God damn, I'm getting emotional on this. Oh, Galdo. You had us at Kegels. Really? How do you yeah, know that is? you're right. We all sort of knew, deep down inside. Raccoon just didn't want to admit it. But he is part of the team now. He may not be the kitten, but he is a Ginyu. Oh my god, did they just graduate? Can they graduate? Or I guess get pardoned? How would that even work? I'm legitimately curious now. My god! <laughs> Cause, Yames, what a beautiful moment. Wait for them to ruin it. Pay for them to ruin it. Hey, what are you- Trying not to ruin the moment. Guru, let him out. You are a coward. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, wow. It even added a glistening effect. I did. Mm. Thank you for adding the YouTube compliant pants. Also, yeah, that frog just went to frog hell. It got eaten like it eats flies. I was kind of hoping they would cut that part out, but no, no, they didn't. They showed it. Oh, God. Oh, we're so sorry, boy. It's going to be okay. Raccoon will dig you a pond it's in the It's really not. And we'll fill it with Shasta. <laughs> Wait, what's Shasta? <laughs> All right, now get those bombs out of my house. Oh, dude, we can't make actual bombs, okay? That was a bluff. 
Yeah, that's, that's that's actually good, huh? Mine was as well. <laughs> Guess we're not too different, huh? I I'm sorry I stole your nod, Captain. And we're sorry about the chair, the couch, the paint, the glitter, and the mouse traps. Hey, and mouse my trap? trash bin. We didn't do anything to your trash bin. Oh, that little bitch. All right, what everyone, this was a very sincere moment, oh, and we're all else very Polly proud did. of your growth, but... If you don't get back inside immediately, we will literally bury you six feet in the ground. We have a long day tomorrow, and a very special visitor. Ugh, what? don't remind me. Huh, wonder what that's about. What's what about? Oh, there you are. Where do you sneak off to? Eh, nowhere special. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't here for all of... that. Really? Yeah. Because I think you're hiding something. Okay, I was off banging Dodoria. <sighs> Fine, be that way. He said it so fast, so earnestly, that of course it makes sense. So is going to think it's a joke, which is why I'm absolutely convinced that's actually what's happening. Also, it would mean the entire technically alive, or I guess undead, Saiyan population now has girlfriends. Yeah, let's just go with this one. What's a secret between friends? So we are friends. We are, if you tell me. Hmm. Pass. Ah, come on! It actually probably was. I'm calling it now. And Freeze is plotting. Oh? Purple room, of course it is. Everyone color coordinates here. Is he disappointed Someone they didn't have the an explosion? Door. I can hear it muffled. I can't really hear what they're saying. Will you keep it down, you noisy m Okay. Is that what I think it is? Oh my god, they actually have a picture of him with... Uh, is that actually riff? I think they actually took that from the show itself. And it's like a family portrait. Or like a evil henchman group work photo. I don't know if it's creepy or endearing that the boss keeps a picture of his favorite subordinates. The ones he didn't personally kill. With him. And I'll tell you either way that that's both creepy and endearing. Noisy mother... Father? Good what? morning, princess. <laughs> oh yeah, they're an asexual species. They can call them anything they want. <laughs> Why is he a visitor? Oh, there's I more. I told you, you pious stooge. I am no frog. I am Captain Ginyu of the illustrious Gin... <laughs> is he trying to talk to me? Do we have a translator? Later after the budget cats. No, uh, whatever. Just wait. They previously had translators. They have budget cuts in hell. Who's paying? The probably the guys. It's probably buy bribe monies for the guys somehow. I'm just going to call it there. Put them through the soul scrubber. I'm taking my lunch. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bunt. And suddenly, Heffel seems like the nicer option. Also, did he say Mr. Bond or Mr. Bunt? I had to rehear that again. Oh, God. Ah, Mr. Bunt. Jimothy Bunt. It was Bunt. Right. Well, I have your equipment for your next mission right here. First, we have an exploding shoe. You simply rip it off your feet, rip out the laces, and then you have three seconds to throw it at your enemy before it explodes. What's to stop it from blowing off my leg? Being able to take off laces effectively, apparently. Dear God, if you have to do that in a pinch, it's like, oh, I'll be dead. The laces. It's a very foolproof plan. Next we have what appears to be your average Walter PPK, like the one you traditionally keep on your person, but it is in fact a one-way radio. What? You just place the muzzle in your mouth, pull the trigger, and then you can call for help anytime you want. You see? <laughs> I was going to say, wow, they're having fun with this Q accent. I'm just more surprised there haven't been any, like, knockoff slapstick spy movies. 
that did that exact joke because that's literally one of the best joke James Bond jokes I can imagine. It's not just a silent pistol, it's a radio. Also, the accent is perfect. It hits that James Bond category, but he literally just, I don't even. <sighs> I just want to randomly show this to my wife. I, I just need to show her. And uh, also, if you pull the trigger twice and throw it, it will explode. Standard gun. Why? Not American, In we just do that. In case you captured and they confiscate your phone, you have this instead to like, you know, use as a one-way phone. Wouldn't they have confiscated my guns if that were the case? Also, why do you keep making... I mean, if they had an American accent, it would make perfect sense. But they're British, so it actually does have to be asked. Would they confiscate the gun? ...everything I put on my body capable of exploding. Lastly, we have a pair of Raycon earbuds. It is effective. What do these do? Would they allow you to uh, listen to music or take calls with the press of a button with eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life? Now, these I, I can use. How will they hold up if things get messy? Try them for yourself. Having a suit MD. Oh yeah, got the tunes in there. Yeah. Oh, impressive. I love the ear nipples. Well, uh, they're not nipples, they're gel tips, and they come in multiple sizes to fit any ear hole. I'm gonna be honest, that description... Take out ear, and just, just that ear, word ear from that entire sentence. And, um, yeah, uh, the description of the... <laughs> I'm just saying... Tanga approved, apparently. However, on the job, I need to be aware of my surroundings. Earbuds may hinder that. But that's why the everyday earbuds have what's called an awareness mode, so you can listen to the things around you simultaneously. I like it. I may get a pair for myself off the clock as well. Well, luckily for you, they're half the price of competing brands and have over 49,000 five-star reviews. You've finally done something right for a change, T. Oh, that's not even the best part. I've rigged this pair to explode. Why? Why because are you, you doing this? Because if you to explode, it's going so to want it I, to explode. I, I, you I hate you so much. much. Get your own pair of Raycon earbuds for 15% off by going... I'm going to be completely honest, exploding pen actually sounds cool. Going to buy Raycon.com slash Team Four Star or clicking the link in the description. <laughs> Sorry, I love the British accent. Hey, look at me! Uh, Raycon, yeah, you know, you know what? Music and it's oh, Raycon I hope that didn't explode! Oh, I thought there would be an explosion! I am unironically disappointed the video didn't end with the pen exploding in their hand. Not right away, but just something like, What? You're going to say it's going to blow up if I just press the little button on the top and then it blows up when they visibly do that. I would have loved that! It would have been the perfect little catch, although I think... Actually, I was about to say Raycon wouldn't approve an ad if they just killed themselves by blowing up a pen in their hand. On the other hand, they were fine with the gun being pointed in the guy's mouth because it's a radio. Or the previous one where they did galactic annihilation. Yay, murder. I'm honestly more interested in Raycon just because this is the kind of shit they're okay with. That's kind of damn cool. Unironically, I, I just want Team Four Star to make a video that's literally just them doing skits like this. Kind of feels like Monty Python, honestly. Just, well... Nope, actually, because they had the British accent, it felt just like a Monty Python skit. Oh, I really need to watch more of that. Like, I mean, technically, again, but it, details. Just... Goddamn. I'm actually looking forward to their skits as much as their animations now. So all the same, if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. And if there's any jokes I missed, let me know because I'm me. I'm an idiot. I'll miss them. Let me know. I do actually appreciate it. And I do like to read the comments when I get around to that. I don't usually say anything because I'm incredibly socially awkward. I have literally no idea what to say. But it's fun. So yeah. Thanks again. Links below. Hit them up. And when we're done, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.